Welcome back to another review. This is my predictions for Night of Champions of the matches that I know are going to happen and what I think about them. And I'm not going to go in order because I don't know what the order is yet. And if any of the matches, I might miss matches. But if people remember what the matches were, please in the description box below, tell me what I left out or what I forgot. Because some of them are not valid yet, even though they will be. Let's get right into the review with all the title matches first. First off, the Divas match. If I'm not mistaking, this Monday night, on the season premiere of Raw for the new year, that Nikki Bella will tie the record this Monday night. If I'm not mistaking, I could be wrong. It could be after the pay-per-view. It was either before or after the pay-per-view. I don't know. But if it was before the pay-per-view... Nine times out of ten, I will guarantee you that it will be Charlotte, or it should be Charlotte, instead of guarantee, it should be Charlotte winning the Women's Championship at Night of Champions, uh, because she broke the record, and they're trying to forget AJ Lee ever existed, just like they did Benoit, Jimmy Superfly Snooka now. Uh, unfortunately, Hawk Hogan, that racist bastard. Um, but for the Intercontinental Championship between Ryback, and I'm hoping it is Kevin Owens, that would be awesome, or it's a triple threat match between Ryback, Kevin Owens, and Cesaro, because, good God, those two need something to do. Or a title them themselves, but if it's... Either one, I do. I am picking Kevin Owens in both, if either scenario happens. Uh, the tag team titles, the Dudley Boys will win over the New Day because we all know that uh, primetime players will lose Monday night in the season premiere. Uh, Rusev versus... Dolph Ziggler. I'm tired of seeing this match. I'm tired of seeing the same old shit. Day in, day out. From Raw, from SmackDown, from a pay-per-view. It's not. It's like they're not trying. We already know what happens. It's either going to go either way or disqualification like it did last time. What they need to do to spice it up? Mix tag. It's done. Said. Do it. But I'm tired of seeing that. Yes, I know it wasn't a title match, but it was. It popped in my head. Uh, the United States Championship. We all know Seth Rollins is a shitty United States Champion. Yes, I said it. I'm sorry if people feel offended by it, but Seth Rollins is a joke as the United States Champion because he doesn't do nothing. Not taking anything away from his heavyweight title run when he's a, he's a little whine ass. But that's what his gimmick is. I, I can accept that. That's what he's there for. He's that heel for something. Even though he's not, a, he's not good at being a heel, he plays the part okay. And that pedigree has to go because it sucks. But for the, like I said, the United States Championship, it will be John Cena overcoming the odds again to become the next or the new United States Champion, like I said, because Seth Rollins sucks at it. The United, or the Heavyweight Championship for. Sting versus Seth Rollins. That could go either way. 
I am a huge Sting fan, but even I know when enough is enough. And I do not want to see a 56-year-old man as champion, because quite frankly, he is a sellout. And WWE needs to acknowledge everything that the past wrestlers have done, whether it's in the WWE or other businesses like Sting. He is a multiple-time and a TNA champion. Oh, but we can't say that. Whoops. We can't say he's a former TNA champion. He's a multiple-time heavyweight champion. The only thing that he hasn't had yet, just because, oh, he's been gone for 14 years. Where has he been? TNA. Oh, what'd I say? TNA. Total non-stop action wrestling. That's where he was for past 14 years. To have a squash match at the la at WrestleMania against Triple H, where he Triple H had to win because he had to feed his ego. Um, I can't remember. Was that last? Yeah, that had to be what thirty one. WrestleMania thirty one, I think. Or was that thirty? Good question. Let me know. Comment section below. But, to me, he's a sellout because he said in the beginning he would never go to the WWE, never work for the WWE, just to lay down at WrestleMania so he could have, what, a title shot at this pay-per-view? Because, oh, I've never held this title. I will, draw, I will lay down at uh, WrestleMania to have a title shot opportunity in the near future. Not how it works, but apparently in a WWE land, that works. So, with that said, I'm going to pick Sting just because it's what's, to me, best for business. Even though it's not best for business, because the WWE says it's best for business. So my rant is, oh, did I, yeah, I did say the New Day will lose against the the Dudley boys just because, and the New Day, love them, hate them, to me, I hate the gimmick because it's, it's racist and stere it's a stereotype, stereotype and racism to, in my book, in my eyes. But they don't want to lose their job either, so they are stuck with it, and they're going with it. They're making a bad gimmick work in their favor. More power to them. I still don't like them. They're annoying. But, you know, look at the Mexicals. That was just downright horrible. But we got, oh, what's the next, what is the ne another match that I know is going to happen? Oh, the Wyatt Family versus Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns with a mystery opponent. God, we all know who that is. Baron Corbin. NXT version of Roman Reigns that sucks ass. The best match he's ever put on was at NXT Brooklyn with Samoa Joe because it lasted more than two seconds. And we all know that he can't wrestle. But I picked the Wyatt family in that one. And if I did miss some pay-per-view, or if I did miss some matches, whether they were fillers or not important, or I just forgot about it, or it hasn't happened yet, 
And you guys do know, because I don't go on the stuff like you got some of people do. In the comment section below, tell me your predictions of who's gonna win, or who I forgot in this video. But I gave you my predictions of who I know so far. Hit the like button down below. Hit subscribe. And may, may your gaming be merry. And fun. If you're playing a game or anything like that. Play the games. <laughs> anyway. I have been your host, Fireproof. And I will see you on the next review. Whether it's a show, a t regular show, or a pay per view. I will catch you next time on another wrestling review. Peace.